Hey, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am back home, which I'm very happy about. I feel like in my past few videos, I've been out and about, so they've been very kind of out and about vlogs. Today, I am back in London. I'm back home. I've had a lovely relaxed morning. I've made myself a coffee and I'm in the kitchen. I don't often vlog from the kitchen, but I thought we would switch things up a little bit this morning. I've just had a delivery which I'll be unboxing with you shortly and yeah I just thought today I've got a few bits to show you mostly from Poundland so we would sit down and do a good old-fashioned Poundland haul because I feel like it's been a while. I popped in there and they had quite a few bits reduced from the summer stock so bits for the garden, kind of holiday bits, kids toys that sort of thing. So I picked up a few reduced items and I've also got a few Halloween bits as well because I feel like Poundland does some really brilliant bits for Halloween but they often sell out very quickly. And I've got my Poundland mug on the go this morning. This was just two pounds, you might have seen it in my recent vlog. I thought I'd include this now as um, I've just made my coffee in it. My slippers are sticking to the floor, which isn't a vibe, is it? I think I might need to mop the floor. Can you hear that? <laughs> I think I've got something sticky on my slippers. So yeah, I just thought we'd have a little catch up. I will show you the bits that I got from Poundland. I've also got a couple of charity shop finds to show you and I've also got some bits from a homeware store called Sostrine Green or Sostren Green. I don't know how you say it. Um, there's a store in Manchester and it's a really reasonably priced homeware store. I think they've actually just opened one up in London and I do know they've just also gone online so you can buy um, their products online as well. So I will link their website for you. I'm going to show you the few bits that I picked up from there. I've got some quite nice kind of handy home stuff and some nice bits for the kitchen. I think you'll like it. It's a very nice shop and the stuff in there is so reasonable. The film's a little real so I'm going to pop that up on my Instagram and my TikTok as well if you want to have a look around in store with me. I've got down here my fridge magnets that I picked up from La Rioja. So I'm going to pop those on the fridge. We have this kind of stamp and this little wine barrel full of grapes. Those are the two that I selected. So I'm gonna pop those on the fridge. One of these days, I'm gonna organize all my fridge magnets. I might do it with you. Take them all off, give them a bit of a wash because they do get dusty, don't they? And yeah, I'll probably clean all the fridge and then put them all back. And I was thinking maybe we could put them back like categorize them. Would you enjoy that sort of video? I don't feel like it could be a standalone video. Maybe it could organize my fridge magnet collection with me. I think we'll probably have to do it within a vlog, but um, yeah, let me know if you fancy that and I will do that for you soon because I just feel like doing it. I feel like it'd be a nice little rainy afternoon activity, wouldn't it? I sort my fridge magnets out. I'm very proud of my fridge magnet collection. It is a blustery day outside today. I feel like the weather has finally started to cool down a little bit. The wind is blowing out there. Oh my goodness, the other night we had the biggest thunderstorm as well. I woke up to flashing lightning, those crashing um, thunderclaps looked sound like they were right above and the rain was coming down heavy and fast. And touch wood, the kitchen ceiling isn't leaking, so that's a strong start to this autumn, but you know, I have to keep an eye on it. I see those brown spots appearing, we know we're in trouble. <laughs> so I've got a very exciting delivery that's just arrived this morning. This has come from Green Chef, who got in touch with me and asked me if I'd be interested in trying out their healthy meals that you can cook at home. So they send you everything you need to make healthy meals. And after being away for filming for so long and I was traveling a bit, I've just felt like I've been eating a lot of food on the go. When we're filming, there's things like Kit Kats always around and hula hoops and, you know, beef monster munch and I can't resist those things. So I've been enjoying myself, <laughs> but I feel like now I'm back home, I feel like doing some cooking at home. I want to use some fresh ingredients and I just want to be a little bit healthier as we go into autumn. So when Green Chef emailed me and asked me if I'd like to try their meal boxes, I jumped at the chance. So I've ordered a few meals for this week from them. I'm going to unpack them with you and make one for my lunch this afternoon. So if you haven't heard of Green Chef already, they offer meals to suit a variety of different lifestyle choices. You can choose between keto, pescatarian, flexitarian, lower carb, 
vegetarian and vegan meals. And Green Chef's Nutritional Chefs create 22 new recipes every week. So you're spoiled for choice. So I thought this one would be a good one if you were considering maybe going vegan from vegetarian. It could help you discover some new recipes or if you were considering going vegetarian or if like me you just want to have some lower carb options have some healthier meals within your routine i feel like there's something for everybody there and it's totally flexible you can pause or cancel at any time i've got the recipe cards here that i've gone for this week so i've gone for the beef rump steak in a red wine juice and um, with creamy mustard kale and roasted broccoli i just really feel like at the moment I want to have as many greens as possible and also I quite fancy a bit of meat so <laughs> this is perfect. I just um, feel like that is what my body needs at the current time. Also we have the creamy mushroom and chive sea bream with buttery spring greens and green beans. I mean I just love greens, I love broccoli, I love kale, I love all the greens, spinach, can't get enough of it. I've gone for the chicken thighs in a peanut and lime sauce again with lots of greens. Right, let's show you some of the ingredients. I feel like you never often see this corner of the kitchen. I want to do something with these shelves. And I've got some peel and stick tiles. Let me just show you quickly. <laughs> just while I've got you here, do you remember these that I picked up while I was in Nashville? I think these were Dollar Tree, I've still got them. I was thinking, do I tile the entire back of this shelving unit and maybe paint this a darker colour or paint it the same green as these. I know I'm digressing but I'd like to know what you think about these things. I don't know what to do with them. I was thinking about using them on the actual tiles but I don't think they're going to work. I don't think I've got enough so yeah let me know what you think. <laughs> so yeah let's get this all unboxed. Um, what I love about these meals is that they come pre-packaged in these brown bags and then you match them up to the recipe cards, which have very simple to follow instructions on the back. And if you fancy trying Green Chef for yourself, I've got a fantastic discount code for you. It's 40% off your first box, and then you'll get 25% off your next three boxes. Just use the code Mr. Carrington 40 or you can click through the link in the description box. And you can select the number of people that you want it for. And if you fancy um, having some of these for lunch as well, you know, if you're on your own, you can always get it for two people. And then, you know, you could have one for lunch, one for dinner, um, or have one the following day. Oh, this broccoli. That is so fresh, look at that. What I love about these meals as well is it makes me use things up. Gosh, that smells really good. Do you like the fact that these are all pre-measured? Look at this beautiful kale. I absolutely love kale and it's full of goodness, isn't it? So fresh, it smells really good. You know that greengrocer's smell? Oh, love it. So yeah, all your meals are in the bags like this. And then you've also got your meats. We've got these, oh, look at these steaks. Cannot wait for those. 21 day aged rump steaks. Really good quality food. I do love the convenience of this. On a day like today where I could be out traipsing around the supermarket when it's drizzly, lugging the bags back. I love it. And these boxes, Pumpkin absolutely loves jumping in these. Mittens not so much, but I feel like I might attach the two of them together and make them a little train to pull them along the floor because what else would you do with a box this size? Right, that is my meals unpacked. I shall look forward to making one of those for lunch today. But yeah, let's go and chat in the living room for a bit and I'll show you the bits that I bought recently. Pumpkin! <laughs> okay, let's dive in to the Poundland Hall, as you can see, I picked up one of their bags. It says trick or treat on it, this spooky Halloween bag. I think these is one pound, aren't they? And always handy, I always end up getting one of those if I don't have a bag with me when I go to Poundland. So yeah, as I was saying, they have got some bits in store from summer, um, so it's mostly garden stuff and sort of children's summer holiday kind of games for the garden, that kind of thing, reduced. Picked up a few bits, all half price. They might still be in store, I'm not sure. Um, they are clearing the shelves for Halloween. They've also started putting out Christmas stuff already. So all the seasonal stuff is being shifted and reduced. I also spotted some 
um, cactuses and succulents, like real ones that were reduced as well. First of all, I picked up a couple of these inflatables. So these were reduced to the bargain price of two pounds each. This one is like a uh, pool float. And then this one is a rubber ring. And they've just got like US dollars on them, I think it is. Yeah, I just thought they'd be quite fun. Um, fun to take on holiday. I might actually give these um, away as gifts as well. I just love a pool float. I, I had a pizza one um, once, but I ended up leaving it on the holiday that I went on, but it was so much fun just to float around on this pizza. Um, so yeah, those were a bargain. Um, yeah, were they two pounds? I think they might have even been down to one pound. I'll have to check the receipt, but sometimes you get things to the till and the person comes over, does the reductions for you and they come down even less. Um, these were two pounds in store and so they were reduced to just one pound each. They're these little bug hotels made out of wood and we've got a very curious mittens back here. Not by the candle, thank you, lady. <laughs> She always wants to know what's going on, and it's because I've used the matches to light it, I've told you that before. Um, she gets very curious, so I'll keep an eye on her back there. Um, but yeah, I thought this was brilliant, a great size, all made out of wood, and you could also DIY this, I thought, maybe turn it into a little Christmas tree. Are you gonna sit there and watch the hall? What's caught your eye? Sometimes there's birds outside, magpies, crows. Is that what you can see? <laughs> Something's captivated her. It's not my Poundland hall, is it? <laughs> Oh, you're off. So yeah, really nice for the garden. Also a nice DIY idea. Sorry, I just heard drilling. I picked up a couple of those as I thought they might make quite a nice gift as well for anybody that loves their garden. Then I also spotted these planters. So I picked up a couple of these and these are the grow your own sets. We have the petunia and I also picked up Impatiens, is it? I'm not sure how you say that. Um, I've never grown those before in the garden, but they come in the metal buckets and everything in here um, that you need. So you've got the soil in there and the um, seeds or the bulbs. I checked the dates on these and these are fine to just plant um, next year. So by year end 2026, if you do see these and you think, oh, they're past season, it's not the case. Um, you could tuck these away, get somewhere just cool and dry um, and dark and yeah, pop them away. And then yeah, we can sow these February to May indoors and it flowers from June to October. So again, it could be quite nice to tuck away as little Christmas gifts or just um, pop them away for the roof garden. And they were uh, four pounds down to two pounds. What a bargain. I mean, you'd pay that for the bucket itself, wouldn't you? Then I picked up, um, oh, just some shaving foam, one pound one. I thought the price was good on that. Just a quite nice um, travel size, 75 mils so that can come on a flight with me or just, you know, in my wash bag. And then I picked up some Halloween bits. So I spotted these spooky gel stickers and I thought, Got a very simple DIY in mind with these. So I'm gonna decorate for autumn. Should we do that for my next video? I'm in the mood. Are you in the mood? Let me know if you're in the mood. <laughs> and we will do it. I am feeling, yeah, I think we're, we're nearly there, aren't we? It's time to get spooky and a bit autumny around the home, I think. Um, I also picked up some flying bats. Oh, that was one pound, by the way. Um, and I thought they were good because they, um, stick to glass, you can put them on the windows and they'll just peel off as well. So quite a good thing to do with kids, I thought. Um, if you've got kids that like stickers, but you don't want, you know, permanent stickers. I'm not a big fan of stickers. I'm saying that, I've bought some stickers, so I'm eating my words, but I'm not a big fan of stickers on furniture or walls, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so there we are. Flying bats, um, 30 with sticky pads. Uh-oh, um, eating my words again. Um, we'll see what those sticky pads are like before I use them. And um, yeah, for 30 for one pound, I thought these would be a really good way of decorating maybe a mirror. I thought it'd be quite cool to put them, you know, like up a mirror and then you could like take selfies in it or just you can decorate a wall with them, but not with sticky pads. Maybe with some white tack, <laughs> I'd consider that. Um, but yeah, one pound as well, really good. And when you see these in Poundland, it's worth stocking up on them. These are all nice and flat, so easy for me to store with my um, Halloween bits and they just sell out really quickly so yeah I like to buy bits when I see them and this is a door cover and I just thought that was quite an effective backdrop I thought you know if you were having a party or for filming a Halloween video anything like that it's covering quite a large space and again just one pound so a bargain price and I like the design sometimes these sort of big door coverings can look a little bit naff but I thought that was really cute with the little ghosts on it 
I'm loving the ghost this year. Can't wait to decorate. I think I'm gonna do the loft, just focus on that room. And then I got a couple of skellies. They're actually, um, they've been through the wars. So just getting them home from Poundland, one lost a foot. I found the foot on the floor with the kittens playing with it. A foot has been reattached, but I noticed the arm had come off and I was worried that I'd lost it in store. Maybe I'd lost his arm at the till, but his arm is here. So who remembers the mini hand <laughs> I used to have from Poundland? I've got that somewhere, I think it's in the loft. I just wanted to show you like what my arm would look like if I was half skeleton, in case you've ever wondered. So if I was a skeleton, um, and you were wondering, now you know. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm a skeleton, losing the plot. Let's put his arm back on, first of all. And the price of these is one pound for two, which I thought is fantastic value, because they're quite a good size, and there's quite a lot of detail on them. You could also um, paint these up a bit, you know, maybe just add some shading around like the teeth and stuff, where they've only got the eyes sort of coloured in. But you could very easily paint these with some acrylic paint, just to make them a little bit more um, I don't know, like rusticy or whatnot. Um, but I thought, yeah, very good for a quid. I went to see The Nun 2 last night in a rather empty cinema, so that was creepy. I did enjoy it. It's full of um, like jumps and scares. All the spooky movies are coming out, aren't they? I think there's a new Exorcist coming into the cinemas as well, if you like that sort of thing. And then I did get some stickers in Poundland, because I saw these. They're two for one pound. I'm sorry about the drilling if you can hear it. These were so cute, I just couldn't resist them with the little kittens on. And I thought they'd make nice gifts too, so I've picked some up as presents. Um, but they're just like little stickers, and they've got all the different little cats. Cats with sunglasses, cats with hats, dogs with bows. It's all going on for cat lovers, dog lovers. These are the stickers you need in your life. My tummy is rumbling. I think I might have to make lunch, and then we'll do Sostrin, a Sostren run. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. It says Sostrine Greens all over the world. Maybe we'll do that after I've had a bite to eat. But I'll just quickly show you the charity shop finds. I've only got two. Quite good ones though. I found this um, Benefit tin. This was £2.50. And in here we've got Gimme Brow, we've got Bang, which I think is a mascara, and we've got Poor Professional. Now Poor Professional it's a product that I've used before, I think it's really good. It just kind of smooths your skin, smooths your pores, essentially. So it's kind of like a primer, I suppose, before you put makeup on. But I also wanted to try out the Gimme Brow, because I thought that might be quite a, um, a nice little product. And I did give it a go, and I rate it. It's a very pale brown colour, actually. Uh, not very pale, just like light lightish brown. I had a go, and um, it doesn't put loads of product on your eyebrows it just kind of shapes them but it also kind of thickens them because there is some color there but it's not going to give you any kind of heavy brows if you just want to do a little thing very small size it's very handy for two pounds fifty i thought that was good um this tin would be what would that be in the shop it's probably like 20 quid or something i won't uh, use the mascara though i'll pass that on i think kate will probably like that mascara so i'll take that for um kate I'm seeing her soon, which is very exciting. Myself, Kate and Luke have got a little fun trip planned. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Will I wear my new jumper though? Probably not. <laughs> I bought this more for packed lunch in mind. I thought it was nice and bright and cheerful for the TV, but also says autumn because we've got a bit of a cable knit going on and the different colors. I just thought it was really different. It's a Boohoo jumper, Boohoo man. I like the pink, I like the purple. And yeah, I just thought it was really nice and cheerful for um, doing Steph's pet lunch. I would probably also have worn this for Sort Your Life Out, but we finished filming the series now. Um, I've got an itchy nose. Mittens, why are you meowing? I think she just wants to play. We've been having a good old chase um, this morning, so we'll have another game of that. Trades have also got their sale on at the moment. It might have finished by the time this video goes live. I thought autumn, awesome, but very cheery, because I've got so much kind of brown and yellow and you know burnt orange mustard all those colors for autumn so i just thought that'd be quite a fun one for packed lunch i'm trying to stick with my thrifted outfits as much as possible um so yeah oh my goodness i need to make lunch let's go make some food and then we'll come back and um go through the rest of the bits that i bought Any tips for what to do with your broccoli stalks? Let me know in the comments. Mmm, 
such a lovely lunch. The broccoli done in the oven like that, absolutely bang on, and the peanut in the sauce. And I think this is gonna really fill me up. So this evening, I'll probably just have something quite light for dinner. That is absolutely delicious. So yeah, if you do wanna try this for yourself, I've got mittens down here, <laughs> demanding attention. If you do want to uh, try this for yourself, do make the most of my discount code, Mr. Carrington 40 All right, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my lunch, and then we'll get that bag of sustrine green bits unboxed with you. Okay, let's show you the bits that I got from Sostream Green. It says, 50 years of wonderful moments. As I was saying earlier, they are now online. The first thing that I got was this very nice placemat, just really simple, but quite a big size. And this was really reasonable. This was £2.89. I only wanted to get one. Um, I didn't feel like I'd use a full set of these, but I did think one would be handy to place in the middle of the table just to put like a hot pan down, you know, if you're doing some roast in the oven or that sort of thing, just want to put something in the middle of the table. I just thought it'd be quite a nice kind of protector mat and yeah, really good size, so bargain. I got these little sponge brushes. I've never had any of these before. Um, these were like 48p, 52p, something like that. I think they were, you know, under a pound for the two of them. And they're just little sponge, you could do little circular um, dots with these actually, if you wanted to do some like wrapping paper, I thought, just dip that in the paint. But also, I'm um, just good for kind of covering things and using them like, almost like a paintbrush, but if you're doing DIYs, you could probably do some nice um, stripes and different designs with these. Also for stenciling, I thought, because you could use these as like a bit of a stamper. So yeah, very pleased with my little sponge brushes. And then I picked up a scoop. This is to um, distribute the kitten's feed, but I also thought this would be quite handy to keep in my washing powder um, detergent box. Um, and this was £3.23. The prices are quite random in there. You have a section in there where you can wrap up anything um, that you've bought with this beautiful paper. So I took a couple of sheets of that because it's always handy um, when you're gift wrapping things. So um, I'll use that, love a bit of brown paper as you know. I picked up this um, container, this is a pump and bottle dispenser, they had this in a couple of different sizes and the price of this was £5.60 and I want to fill this up with washing up liquid and just have it by the sink as a little um, washing up liquid dispenser, so they had smaller ones. Um, for hand soaps, but if you're somebody that gets through loads and loads of shampoo and conditioner and stuff and you have a lot of bottles lying around, um, it'd be quite good to decant them into this as well, I thought. And um, you could have that just in the shower for like body wash or, um, you know, shower gel, shampoo, conditioner, that sort of thing. Or again, if you're, um, you know, a big household, even for like hand wash by the sink, you know, a nice um, big container like that, um, I thought it was really good. So, yeah, nice um, kind of bluish coloured glass, I would say. I thought that would probably be the best um, colour to go with like washing up liquid inside it. They did have um, like an ambery coloured glass as well, um, if you're interested in that kind of colour. And then I picked up just a couple of um, very simple dinner candles, which are always um, handy at this time of year. These are just 40p each, but these are the short ones. And I thought um, short ones with kittens around, they are very good around candles. Um, I did make sure I blew that one out before I did my um, cooking this afternoon. So I don't need them unattended, but if there is a couple of candles lit in the room, they're curious, they'll have a look, um, but they, they sort of know what they are now and um, they might just sort of like go nearby, but you do have to keep an eye on it, of course, because you know, with their tails and whatnot, and sometimes they can get excited. But I thought with these being shorter, um, there's less chance of them being knocked over if they're in a kind of a low um, candle holder candlestick holder, you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, 40 peach as well, fantastic, and they've got all different colours in store. And then, oh, this is lovely. I picked up this vintage looking bottle bag, uh, 99p for this, uh, 98p for this, I should say. And it just has all these really sweet, 
little um, illustrations, varied ones, and it's decoupage, isn't it? Where you could um, get the, you know, you can get like the Victorian style kind of cutouts, and you um, like wallpaper paste them onto things. It reminded me of that, so I really like this style. I just got one because I thought this would make a really nice bottle bag um, for somebody for a gift. So yeah, I just thought that was lovely. Quite attached to it. Might just buy myself a bottle. <laughs> Give it to myself. And then I picked up some more stickers. Um, I can't resist these. I've just become a sticker person and I don't know where I'm going to stick them. I think I'll just have to stick them into my planner. There's nowhere else I can stick stickers, is there? Back of the laptop, maybe? Could do that. In fact, I might do that because these two, particularly, I mean, it was worth it just for that. Don't you agree? We have pumpkin and mittens right there. I would say that's probably pumpkin because he is larger than mittens. And then we just have some really cute, oh, I'll tell you what you could do as well. Oh, look at that. A little bow on. Um, what you could do is, oh, is there two? There's two sheets in here. And there's, uh, there's pumpkin with his tie on. You could actually make some really nice greetings cards with these because you've got kind of birthday ones with like the um, elephant with the balloon. Um, like a dog with a party hat on. You've got a koala bear blowing a sparkly bubble gum. You've got a kitten in sunglasses. These stickers are incredible. <laughs> and these were £1.24, come on. Would they have fallen into your basket as well? It's hard to resist things sometimes, isn't it? And you know what, I think, if I don't think of a use for them, these would make a lovely gift for somebody. Yeah, there's two sheets, and it's just the same underneath. But that is such good value, isn't it? Really, really nice. To show you the um, top designs as well. Reminds me a bit of that film Sing, is it? Is it Sing, with that character in it? The little, like the little old lady? I think it is Sing. Anyway, um, very happy with my stickers, after saying that I'm not a sticker person. <laughs> I've just thought of another idea. It's going to justify them. Gift wrapping a gift with tissue paper, and instead of the cellar tape, you just, you know, when you wrap it with tissue paper, so you only need like one bit of tape. Instead of tape, we do one of those bad boys. Next up, I think it's the last thing. Oh, we're in Tiger now. I did pop into Flying Tiger just for a little um, browse. Bought one thing, 50p, and it's a washing up brush. I thought that was great. Nice wooden washing up brush for 50p but that's made me realize that i haven't shown you something and i don't know where it is it must be hiding so i did buy a little oh here it is I did buy another little um washing up brush and this one was i feel like this was one pound 50 or like one pound 48 probably um just a very simple little scrubber but these ones in some of the posh shops like the posh old fashioned -y homeware shops. I've seen these really pricey. I saw like a lovely kind of rusticy looking cleaning range. It was in a plant shop and all the bits were kind of like eight or nine pounds for just like one little scrubber. And the same in a lot of these eco shops, they've got some lovely stuff, but the price points can be pretty high. So when I saw this, I thought that was a bargain and I think they're really nice to use. They look quite nice too, don't they? Um, so yeah, just like a lovely little wooden scrub and you just hold it like that. It's for washing up. Um, obviously, you could use it for cleaning, and it's almost like quite a nice brush. You could do like your shoes, your boots, scrub whatever you wish with it. <laughs> so yeah, that is all the bits that I've got. Is it? Yeah, homeware bits. Um, I will be back soon with another video for you. I'm thinking it will be time to probably decorate for autumn, so it'll be a cosy one, I reckon, the next one. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you enjoyed seeing the bits that I picked up in Poundland and the homeware that I bought as well. If you did, do give the video a thumbs up. Thank you for spending the afternoon with me. I hope you're having a lovely morning. If you're watching this on Sunday morning, you're having a good weekend. If you've got some time off and time to yourself, I hope you're having a nice relax. Let me know what you've been up to in the comments and let me know um, what your favourite item from my haul was. A big thank you to Green Chef for working with me on today's video. I 
thoroughly enjoyed my lunch. If you would like to make the most of that incredible discount code, use Mr. Carrington 40 or click the link in my description box. Remember, you can always catch me over on Instagram and occasionally on TikTok as well. If you want to see any bits that I've spied in the shops, I usually share them over there, including a little look around Sostrine Green as well. So yeah, do give me a little follow over there. I'd love to see you there too. But thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day or evening, whatever time it is that you're watching this, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.